Hi, everybody. This is Sri, and welcome back to my channel, Vedic Living. Today, I want to talk about the new moon happening in this month of August. It's happening on the 27th of August. And we are going to talk about everything that has to do with this new moon and what's what it's going to bring in. Um, you know, I feel like it's going to really kick off a whole host of events uh, which will culminate towards the end of this year. And this new moon is going to be very important when we think about, you know, what it does in terms of history and in terms of this world. So before I go any further, I do want to remind you to make sure you go to my website and use my free chart calculator to see where your planets are in your chart. And also don't forget to um, sign up for my newsletter. My newsletter I send out every month with the predictions for the upcoming month. I do cover a lot of detail in my newsletters, which I may not be able to cover on YouTube. So make sure you sign up for that. And also I will be teaching the Germany Scholar course uh, on August 25th. And I will have the sign up link for that below this video. I do this course only once a year. So make sure if you have ever been interested in learning Germany astrology, that you sign up for the course because it's a eight week course where I will cover almost every aspect of foundational uh, Germany astrology principles, okay? Now let's talk about the new moon that's coming. This new moon is happening in the sign of Leo at around nine to 10 degrees. And um, one of the things that is really interesting for me with this new moon, and I will be showing you a chart right now, is that since it's the sign of Leo, if you remember in the last video, we talked about how in the last six months, a lot of heads of state and um, leaders of countries and, um, you know, just political leaders had to step down. And, you know, there have been a loss of leaders around the world. So with this new moon, remember new moon means new opportunities. It's new beginnings. With this happening in the sign of Leo, this could mean that new leaders are going to step forward. People who feel like they have it in them to lead a country or to lead the people they're going to be stepping forward saying, yes, I want to leave this country. And it's really opportune that this is happening around this time frame when in U.S. people will be announcing who will be running for the elections in 2024. Because I think uh, this new moon is pretty much indicating to us that a lot of people are going to step forward saying that they are qualified to run the country. And this could be around the world too. You will see people applying for these positions or, you know, elections will be taking place. There'll be leaders coming up. And that's good because, you know, considering that it's in the sign of Leo. Another really important um, thing that I see here in this chart, as you can see, this is the new moon chart. It's August 27, 2022 at 4.17 a.m. in Washington, D.C., uh, so depending on where you are in the world, the time will be different. But what you're looking for is the sun and moon together like this at nine degrees and 53 minutes of Leo. That's exactly when the new moon is. Okay. So when this happens, if you notice here, look at the nakshatra that it's in. This is happening in the nakshatra maga, which I find is another big indicator of new beginnings, initiative, leadership, doing things um, with a sense of purpose. And this is really, really opportune that it's happening in the in the Nakshatra Maga. What is really interesting also is the fact that Maga, you know, the key points of Maga is that it rules kings and, you know, also ancestors and heritage and your family and your roots and your culture, okay, and ancestry. One of the main things is uh, with Maga, you know, the deity of Maga is the Pitrus. And that means our ancestors, our, our Pitru in Sanskrit means our ancestors. And, you know, we are who we are because of our ancestors and what they have done. And that's what Maga stands for. Maga also indicates museums and old antiquities, relics, uh, artifacts, which are of incredible value from the past. Why? because Maga is ruled by Ketu, which rules the past. So what is, again, an, another interesting point, I have been watching this past 
week or so in the past few days, so many news items about uh, things of value being returned back to where they belong. For example, uh, it, we saw it in the news that New York just returned 142 looted artifacts to Italy, which originally belonged to Italy. That's a classic description of Marga. It's going back to your roots. It's going back to your antiquities, your ancestors. And another news item, just another, another example, there are hundreds of these news that you can see in the next. You'll see this actually building up in the next few weeks, but it's already started happening because that's the energy of the new moon that's kicking in. Um, the other news item is where U.S. returned looted relics to Cambodia, which actually belonged to Cambodia. Then there was another one where the, an, the oldest artifact ever to be discovered was found in Jerusalem. It was an arrowhead. See, the reason I'm telling you these examples is this is a classic example of the Maga Nakshatra and what it can do. It's about thinking about our past, going back to our past, you know, revisiting our heritage, our ancestry, understanding where we come from. You know, they say you cannot be successful in life until you realize where you are from. We have to all remember where we came from, the road that we walked on, the road that our ancestors walked on. It's very important. And that's what Maga reminds us of. Now, I also have to mention Maga does rule uh, leadership and kings and the throne. Why? Because in the antiquity times, when there were kings and queens, it was mostly in the family. The son became the, the, the son became the prince, so the crown prince and became the king after the father, right? And that's how it usually happened. That's why Maga rules kings too, because it kind of goes hand in hand with ancestry and family and heritage. Now, whatever is happening with this new moon will kick off intense changes through the end of the year, change in leadership, change in leaders of countries, people coming forward. Now, Leo is the natural leader. It's leading by inspiring. So, you know, if you have Leo ascendant or Leo moon in your chart, you would know that about yourself too. You're a natural leader. Now, another thing also is if you look at this chart, Mars is exactly at 950 in Taurus and it's aspecting the new moon at 950. It's exact to the degree. This is not a coincidence, right? Because it's so close in degrees. This is important because Mars is in Taurus in the Nakshatra Kritika. Kritika rules cutting. It rules the blade. It's sharp speech. You'll see a lot of people coming out with um, outspoken thoughts. You know, they're not going to hold back. There'll be sharp speech. There'll be probably hurt others' feelings, you know, that kind of stuff. Even in your personal life, you'll see this, you know, people speaking up, speaking their minds, hurting each other's feelings. It's very possible. Now, Mars at nine degrees of Taurus is also important because Taurus is an earth sign. So this is again going to kind of bring in earth changes, earthquakes, you know, volcanic eruptions, all those, all those kind of instability, combined with the fact that Uranus is almost at the point where it's going to be stationed. And again, remember, I've told you all the time, Uranus rules earth changes and earthquakes, and it's almost going to be stationed. So these two uh, aspects combined kind of, you know, give us an indication of that. Mars also stands for drive ambition. A lot of ambitious people are going to come out. You know, all these leaders or people who say they want to lead a country, they come out, they stand for elections. They are ambitious. That's Mars. It's drive. And also it does rule violence and anger and fires. So look out for that too, because of the Mars aspect on the new moon. Now in personal charts, go back to the Nakshatra Maga ancestors, people who have passed on, people who have come here before us. And in your personal charts, uh, in your personal lives, what you're going to see during this new moon is more dreams. You may have more dreams, vivid dreams, because since Maga Nakshatra rules the ancestors, what happens is the, the veil between the physical world and the spirit world is very thin at this time. So, you, you know, you may have People who have passed on, who come back in your dreams, you may have vivid dreams, you may have thoughts of the past, you know, those issues that you have not resolved and you've kind of pushed away to the back of your brain, those may bubble back up again for you to resolve. 
Another reason I feel like that's really going to happen is because so many planets are retrograde. There are five planets, as you can see, that are retrograde in the sky right now. When planets are retrograde, we are reviewing and reassessing, right? And combined with the fact that the new moon is in Maga, you could be reviewing a lot of your past because Maga is ruled by Ketu. So a lot of those thoughts can bubble back up through your dreams, through your early morning hours, and you'll have to resolve it because when the planets are retrograde, we resolve things, we close loops, and we get ready for when the planet goes direct so we can move forward again with a clean slate of a mind. That's how it works. So watch out in your personal lives. You may have dreams, you may think about the past, you may have people from the past coming back to resolve things with you. Uh, and, and it's all about ancestry and heritage and family. And you may think about going back to find out about your roots uh, and, and you know trying to find out where you came from. All of that can happen during this new moon. Now, like I said, Uranus is almost, almost about to station. So that's going to also flavor this dynamic stuff happening in the heavens during the new moon. Uh, not to mention also that... Uh, you know, Saturn is also almost about to station. Saturn is almost squaring Uranus as well, not exactly to the degree. But uh, those things will also kind of weigh into what we are talking about here. The Maga Nakshatra is very close to, it's not exactly on the degree, but it's very close to Regulus. And another indication right there, you know, the, the zodiac sign Leo, the Nakshatra Maga, the, the proximity to the fixed star regulus, all of this is indicating what? It's indicating leadership, leadership changes. People coming out saying they wanna lead countries. Even in your personal workspace, you may see um, people being put into leadership positions. You may, you may see positions opening up at the higher um, reaches of the company or the corporate that you're in. Because this is all the energy of the planets in the sky at this time. Now, I always tell you, whenever you have a new moon happening, it is a wonderful time to set an intention because new moon is new beginnings. It's about starting things new. It's about bringing in or ushering in something new into your life. So what do you do? With all the uh, volatility around the planet that's happening now, the new moon is a perfect opportunity to meditate to connect to your core, to connect to your soul. And remember the Maga Nakshatra, you are very connected to the spirit world at this point. So find your center, meditate on your intention, set a positive intention when the new moon is happening. And remember, you know, this because of the Maga Nakshatra and its indication for ancestors, this is a great time to pay respects to your ancestors, people who have passed on a great time to do that because they are listening they are around you they are closer to you than ever before at this time so remember to do that when the new moon happens so that's what i wanted to talk to you about the new moon and um, you know don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll be coming back to you soon with the predictions for the month of september and a couple more uh, nakshatra videos which i know you guys love thank you so much